Morning, welcome to Wednesday, day 297 if I'm not mistaken. And check it out, check it out. Still living in Southern California. This is, oh uh, yeah, this is beautiful. It's a little cool, it's only 54. You got some, some trees changing on us, but uh, I'll take that sky. Okay, cue intro. Yeah, so Wednesday, going in a little later, it's 9.13 a.m., no significance there. Going to pick up um, Kenan right now, and I don't get out of the, out of the office till 3 today, so I guess we'll just have to suffer through. Good morning, Kenan! Where'd you go? Hello. Hi. I'm not a fan of Buicks in general, but this one's been mudding. Check it out. Who muds a Buick? Well, I'm the first one here kind of creepy, but that's what a class classroom looks like. Piece of junk. Those things never work right. Well, good afternoon slash early evening. It's uh, 621. Dug the shorts back out. How cool is that? Um, did two yards after I got home from school. I'm sorry I didn't film anything. Got that one done and this one done. Seems like I've done them there on the same day now for like, I don't know, a month or something. But they weren't too bad, they were a little muddy out here in the front and over there actually in the back. So they're done, gotta go downtown, run one errand. It's a beautiful evening. Um, it's about 70 degrees now. We had 74 when I was cutting the grass. Like back in summer now for a week. I, I can't see in the 10 day anything less than 73 and that's tomorrow. Um, and then back up to like 75 or six and it's even warmer in the car. So that's it. awesome, but uh, I'll talk to you in a bit. It's a nice find, a BMW Z8. I think I'll park, go take a look at it. Looks like he's leaving. Guess I'll follow him. Nice car. Very expensive. It's like over 100000 still. Okay, so he turned into one of those old historic Hudson neighborhoods. I wonder if he just didn't get a house in there, but it'd be creepy to follow him in there. So I didn't, but that thing sounds really good. I love the exhaust they used on the Z8. They should have used it on the M5 too, but I guess it's not practical is this is supposed to be driven every day and that's like a weekend car anyways I'm headed back home now got did what I needed to get did I also got paid for mowing today um, I want to talk about the iPhone 4s a little bit I like it I think they could have done better uh, but they, you, you can always do better unless you're a few people but you can usually do better so yeah I'm happy I, I think I'm I'm gonna get one um, unfortunately AT&T is not giving me the free upgrade because I've only had the iPhone 4 for a year and a half so it's going to cost me another $250 on top of the $299 for a 32 gig black or white iPhone 4S. So I just got paid for mowing, actually more than I thought. He paid me for the whole month. I figured since it's October he'd want to do it weekly, but I guess not. Uh, so anyways, I got $201 to deposit, and I already sold my iPhone 4 on Gazelle for $206, and I already had like $300. So uh, we'll be okay. I just need to move some money around between accounts, and uh, I'm going to order it tomorrow night, which will actually be... Friday morning at 3.01 in the morning. Cannot wait to stay up till then on a school night. Found one of my favorite Acuras up here, the TL. Um, I actually really like the TL. I, I sat in an, at the auto show in Cleveland maybe two, three years ago when it first came out or a while ago, and I, I liked it then, but I guess they've redone it since, and it just looks phenomenal. Uh, I've even heard one with, I don't know if they offer a sport version of the TL or anything like that, but it, it even sounded pretty good. I guess that's a, maybe a Turbo 6 and some option, but uh, that's a really nice Honda. Alright, we're home now. I'm headed upstairs to get my power cord for the Mac. I'm going to make a tech video. Anybody wondering why I didn't yesterday? Um, one, I was pretty busy, and two, in the past, whenever Apple would have an event like that, I would usually always go ahead and make the recap video. But you know what? Being someone that watches a lot of YouTube videos, I hate opening the subscription box and seeing that 9 out of 10 of every 10 subscribers that I have, 90%, made a video doing the exact same thing. So then I thought, well, maybe I should do a thoughts video, just my impressions on it. Who cares about my impressions? Everybody did that. So uh, I didn't cover that. And if you didn't hear about it, then you should probably follow some other tech people besides one. And you probably do. So that's why I didn't make a video. But right now I'm just gearing up to make one now uh, regarding kind of a thoughts video. I don't really know yet um, about yesterday's events with Apple. As well as the announcement that I'm hosting a live stream on Thursday night. I'm typing in my password. 
until 3 a.m. Eastern Time when I'm going to be pre-ordering the phone. So uh, that might be interesting. If you're going to be pre-ordering the iPhone, come into the live stream, say, hey, you know, bring some food for us to share, and we will all waste our money on the iPhone 4S together. Uh, reading emails, um, listening to music. Taylor was here. We were studying for an English test we have tomorrow. Um, by this point, you've known for several hours that um, Steve Jobs died today at age 56. So. Of course, that is terrible, deeply saddening news. Uh, just found out a couple hours ago. There he is. Hi. Hi. That's awkward. <laughs> yep. So that's the news for today. Uh, I think Apple's in good hands. It'll be interesting to see what their stock does tomorrow, but I'm, I'm not even going to talk about the personal note. I don't feel I'm qualified to, to talk like that about him. I didn't know him, neither did most of you, but... He's an amazing man that will never be replaced on this planet.